I'd like to just kind of recap a bit. And um, how did you, uh, how long have you been playing? Playing jazz? Whoa. That's it's good to think about. Probably about 27 years. 20 some years. So, uh, how did you first initially get into it? So, for me, yeah. Always saxophone because my dad played saxophone when he was a kid. So we had, you know, we didn't have a lot of money for it. So there was a saxophone in the closet. And so he was like, here, you want to play in band? This is what we got for you. So that's how I came to play alto sax. And then jazz, I got interested in it. You have two hair braiders there, huh? A couple of reasons. Yeah, well, because, uh, my grandmother, she loved, uh, she always had these old movies, like they did the Glenn Miller story, and Benny Goodman story, and a lot of those films featured the musicians playing from that era, really famous musicians. Hearing that music with her got me excited about jazz, and then I wanted to teach jazz. And then Peoria, Illinois, where I'm from, this happened to be like a great place where there were bunch of so I got to go out and hear this and eventually play with professionals here. For me, you know, it's always uh, the musical opportunities that have presented themselves have been gateways. So when I was, you know, maybe uh, in sixth grade, I can recall being offered a, uh, not sixth grade, we'll go forward. When I was 14, I had a band playing jazz, and I got to play with this professional musician who's also a famous artist, uh, visual artist, so he came to the gig I was on and sat in with my band, my little band as a fortune, and through that, our playing on that moment, we had an opportunity to play a bunch of professional gigs together, which would introduce me to a bunch of other Now, you, know, you fast forward and... Um, I'll say one of my favorite moments so far is, is I always had a dream of playing North Sea Jazz Festival, the biggest jazz festival. And, you know, it's one of those things, those pinnacles. Like, I want to do that someday. And then I got to do it in 2017, 2018. But three, three gigs on the same day, back to back, three different things. So it was a fun moment. You know, with Marquise Hill, his band, my band, and the night finished with the time of the it was quite a treat for, for me and for the people that I've met. Uh, just to wrap things up, uh, so if you were to give some advice to emerging uh, jazz musicians, what would be your biggest advice? Practice your craft, whatever it happens to be, whatever instrument you're learning. Practice your craft, so get excited about that, and try to get around. Um, you know, mentors, find a mentor, find whether it's somebody professional playing on the scene that you live in, somebody you can take lessons from, informal or formal mentorship. You know, like get around that and then you know get out there at the level you're at to be a part of the scene that's available to you. That's a way that you can kind of always develop relationships from a very young age that will um, sort of set you up to continue to move into different uh, levels. Of, uh, starts at a very young age. I always tell people to get out there, get on the scene, meet people, talk to people, start a band, go out and see live music whenever that's available to us. Well, thank you so much, Greg Ward, uh, and I'm Jesus, and uh, signing off here at the Jazz Festival at Hyde Park. Thank you so much. Thank you.